From Peninsula TV Studio in San Carlos, Pacific Bell and the Chronicle present the Bay Area's hottest game show, Peninsula Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hello and welcome to Peninsula Quiz Kids, the show where speed, knowledge and collaboration are the tools these kids need for the chance to win valuable prizes. We're way into round two. These are two winning teams coming back. First of all, the Mighty Dons of Aragon. And they are taking on the Ferocious Bearcats of San Mateo. And we are going to play the collaboration round. So guys, the way it goes is this. You're going to get a series of 10 point questions. I'll ask them back and forth from team to team, starting on my left with the Aragon team. You'll collaborate for 10 seconds and then your captain, Oliver, is going to give me the answer that you think is correct. If you think, if you get it right, you get 10 points. If you get it wrong, the other team will get a chance, five seconds to collaborate and steal the points. And we'll go back and forth until the round is over. Okay, good luck. Let's start with the first Aragon question. For what radius is a sphere's volume equal to its surface area? <laughs> Oliver. Three. Three is right for 10. <laughs> Alex, if you would erase all that from the table now, thank you very much. Okay, Sam Mateo, your first question. Name the Middle Eastern country where the attack on the destroyer USS Cole took place. Yemen. Yemen. Yemen, <laughs> Yemen of course. Ten points. <laughs> Way to go, Yemen. <laughs> Next question. Whom did Washington choose to be his first Secretary of the Treasury? Hamilton. Hamilton is right for ten <laughs> points. San Mateo, what is the meaning of the funerary expression R.I.P.? Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Tell me. Thank you. Ten points. Yes. <laughs> this team has moved around a bit. It was once known as the Buffalo Bisons and then moved to San Diego, where it picked up its current nickname. Name this NBA franchise that later moved from San Diego to Los Angeles. The Lakers? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Clippers. The Clippers is right for 10. <laughs> the guys in the jock shirts kind of knew that one. And it is your turn. Louisville and Cincinnati are located on what river? Ohio River? The Ohio River's right for 10. <laughs> okay, Aragon. Aragon, here you go. If two triangles, oh, Alex is going to write again. If two triangles share the same angles and their corresponding sides are in a fixed ratio, then they are said to be what? Similar. Similar is right for 10 points. Okay, Bearcats, in which country did the computer virus, the love bug, originate? Philippines. Philippines is right for 10. <laughs> Next question for the Dons. What Babylonian king searches the world in a quest for immortality in the only surviving, surviving Babylonian epic? Uh, Nebuchadnezzar. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you collaborate and steal the answer and the points? Justin? Uh, Lazarus? No, it's Gilgamesh. Oh. But you get the next question. A bomb thrown by an anarchist turned what May 1st, 1886 demonstration in Chicago into a riot? Haymarket Square. Square. That is right. Haymarket Square for 10. <laughs> what state is home to the Windy City? Illinois. Illinois is right. 
What hard, black, volcanic rock did prehistoric man use to make cutting tools? Obsidian. Obsidian? Obsidian is right for 10 points. Aragon. This Bay Area anchor person retired recently after a successful career lasting 50 years. What is his name? Dennis Richmond? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. David McElhatton. Dave McElhatton? Dave McElhatton is right for 10 points. I, I met him once, he was a lovely man. And it's Sam Mateo's question. What is the tangent of an angle measuring pi, I'm sorry, what is the tangent of an angle measuring pi over two radians? One, one, one. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. Infinite? No, we were looking for undefined. It does not exist. Oh. But it is your turn, Aragon. Theodore Roosevelt helped organize what band of irregular cavalry forces which rode up San Juan Hill in the Spanish-American War? Rough Riders. Rough Riders? Rough Riders is correct for 10. <laughs> During their voyage home, what fruit did Odysseus crewmen eat and suddenly lose all interest in returning home? Was it a plum? No, I'm sorry, it was not a plum. Lotus flower? Yes, it was the lotus. <laughs> Aragon. What is the name in physics for the ratio between a charge and potential difference? Voltage? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you tell us the answer and steal the points? Can you the question? What is the name in physics for the ratio between a charge and potential difference? Polarity? No, we're looking for capacitance. And your question, its only neighbors are Mexico and Guatemala. What is the current name of this English-speaking Central American, I'm sorry, Central nation? Belize. Belize. Belize is correct. And at the end of the first round, we see Aragon at 60. San Mateo's got the lead at 90 points. <laughs> These are two smart teams. We'll continue with the play in a moment, but first let's meet our players. We have a brand new player here to Peninsula Quiz Kids, Oliver Sue. Oliver, they made you captain in your first time round. What's the matter with these guys? I don't know. Well, you're doing a great job, but I'm, you're looking at me like, am I right? And you're just, you guys are telling right answers to me, so relax, have a good time. You are very busy at Aragon these days. You're an editor on the school paper. Yeah. And um, you also love to play a lot of other games besides Peninsula Quiz Kids, like what? Um, I like to play Scrabble, and I also like to work on crossword puzzles. Oh, that's great. You know, they just said that if you keep working on uh, crossword puzzles all your life, you'll avoid or push back Alzheimer's disease. Isn't that great? Sounds good. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was I just saying? <laughs> I did not plan that joke. That was just unrehearsed. You want to be a cardiologist. That's correct. That's yeah. great. How long have you had that interest to? Mm, since I was like five. Wow. Well, good luck to you. Have you had heard from any schools yet for pre-med? Some of them, but not my top choices. Okay. Well, good luck on those. Vlad Kroll is a returning champion and defender. You know, you guys, last time you were here, I think you earned the most points of any team that we've ever had play at Peninsula Quiz Kids. Congratulations to you guys. You're a senior. The last time we talked, you had at your bedside table the novel Ulysses by James Joyce. What chapter are you on? I finished it. You finished it? Wow, it's like, you know, 3,000 pages of one sentence. So, could you give us a, a brief review of uh, Ulysses? It's great, but like it's hard. And yeah. yeah. Good. That was profound. What are you reading? What are you reading now? Uh, I'm reading The Sun Also Rises. So you're going back to short books. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? That's what's. It's just as profound as Ulysses in its way. Enjoy that very much. Thank you. Alex Khan, you're a junior. Yeah. And Alex, 
The dot-com explosion has ended. People are fleeing for their lives. At the same time, Alex Kahn has decided he doesn't want to do computer programming anymore. Is that a coincidence or a carefully planned choice? That was before that, so. Oh, way before that. Well, what do you want to yeah. do now? Well, I'm not sure I'm leaning towards electrical engineering. Oh, OK. Electrical engineering. So you have to take some different kinds of classes for that? Or? Not sure. No, it's, it's mostly the same. Mostly the same thing. Good, yeah. good. Well, good luck to you there. Mostly. Why don't we all give a big hand to your coach, Miss Kathy Kliegel. Okay, gentlemen of San Mateo, you have big shoes to fill. The last team that was here before you guys got second place in our entire championship, but you didn't do so badly last time around, and you're doing well now. Uh, Justin Erickson, you're the captain. I, I know that you're probably a little bit distracted right now because tonight is a big, big event at San Mateo. It's the MORP. What is a MORP? Well, uh, MORP is a uh, prom spelled backwards, and uh, it's it's just it's a semi-formal formal dance, uh, and it's uh, I think it's Mardi Gras the, uh, is the theme of it, and um, yeah, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Probably. So, what makes it a, a backwards dance? Uh, well, we, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. I, I don't. Gee. I don't do that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't dance backwards. No. What? No. Do, do the girls ask the boys or something? Yeah, oh, is that what it oh, is? Right. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, thanks for clearing that up for me. Now you've been very busy in track this yeah, semester. Yeah. Doing well? Yeah, I, I've gotten uh, second place and uh, and a couple of firsts. Yeah. Okay. Well, good for you. And you're also involved. Uh, you're also an editor on right. the school paper. Yeah. Um, we, I, actually, Derek and I have a little bit of a rivalry going on because the journalism people and yearbook people just don't get along. They don't. No. Well, uh, let me yeah. let me ask Derek about that when we get to him. Yeah. Bobby Kays. Bobby, yeah. you're very involved in a lot of things. A senior, you get involved in music, the Millard Fillmore trivia hunt. But you know, I know that when people talk about Bobby Kays at San Mateo High, they talk about baseball too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So this is baseball season. So how's it going? Uh, not too good right now, but uh, <laughs> we won one game, so you know there's there's like good promise in that. And we're we're, de we're definitely improving. So so we'll when you play a lot of games, you've been playing with guys for a long time, and it's not going so well in the season. What do you do to kind of keep your spirits up or? I don't know, we just like, we're just really wanting to have fun this year. Like, we did pretty good last year, we made it to CCS, so this year is really kind of a lot of fun, just playing our last season. Good, well enjoy that season. Now, Derek Chow, another senior, and um, you know where you're going to go to college, don't you? Uh, yeah, I, I got accepted early to the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations, what are you going to study there? Uh, business. You have a good business school there, Yeah. Today. Good for you. Now, I'm hearing a little rumble over here from Justin. You're uh, second year in a row editor-in-chief of the yearbook mm -hmm. and is there a rivalry between yearbook and newspaper well it's kind of like we do pranks or little activities that kind of affect the other uh, class what um, kind instance, of pranks well one time they managed to delete an entire hard drive a couple of days before um, a deadline without telling us so what a wacky pay. thing yeah. to do hey. <laughs> gee you're really down on them well you know I can I kind of understand it Derek you get like 200 pages to talk about the four years you had at San Mateo High School. And Justin, if he even gets to do that, gets like a headline. So Justin, here's your chance on almost national television to <laughs> create a headline that sums up your four years at San Mateo High. What would it be? Headline. Mm -hmm. uh, at San Mateo, it's the quick and the dead and the spirited. Bearcats roll, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, yell. All right. It takes two coaches to control these wacky gentlemen. And those two coaches are Sarah Iraheta and Jane McCabe. Welcome. And we must not forget the man who keeps us honest, whose word is law should any kind of conflict arise. That is our mighty judge, Mr. Frank Sabodi. So we'll get back into playing this exciting game in just a moment after we watch this video about Aragon High School.
Well, here we go with the round where teams send one of their members to show off a little special knowledge. We call it the face-off round. And Vlad, who reads Ulysses at bedtime, is an expert in literature. Bobby, who's decided to have fun this season in baseball, is still an expert in sports. I'm going to ask you gentlemen a series of 10 point questions in your category. If you get the answer right, you get the points. If not, eh, we'll move on until the round is over, okay? Good luck to both of you. Shake hands and come out thinking. First literature question. Name crime writer Agatha Christie's famous Belgian detective. Uh, Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot, that's right, for 10 points. Which country currently holds golf's Ryder Cup? Um, that would be the USA. That is right, for 10 points. <laughs> Consider Germany's greatest literary figure, what writer of Sturm und Drang also wrote the drama Faust? Uh, Goethe. Goethe is right, for 10. <laughs> Competition in this sport goes back at least as far as the Greeks and Romans. In fact, its two main styles are freestyle and Greco-Roman. Name the sport which also includes slightly different styles like those of the WCW and WWF. Uh, that's uh, wrestling. I guess so. Yes. <laughs> Did you need any more information no. about that? All right. <laughs> This novel by Evelyn Woe describes the collapse of an aristocratic British family. The story is told from Charles Ryder's point of view. What is its title? Uh, Bride's Head Revisited. That's right, for 10 points. <laughs> baseball question. This feat in baseball cannot be accomplished in fewer than four at-bats. What is this rare hitting accomplishment consisting of a single, a double, a triple, and a home run by the same player in the same game? That's the cycle. Hitting for the cycle is right. <laughs> According to Shakespeare's Richard III, which season is full of discontent? Uh, winter. Winter. <laughs> I still have to ask one more question of, uh, of Bobby for sports. Its inventor was a mechanic, an ice salesman, and a rink owner. Name this rideable machine used to resurface ice at hockey arenas. That's the Zamboni. Zamboni! <laughs> I'd like a dish of Zamboni right now. Right now, Aragon has not a thousand points, but thank you, Aragon coach. A hundred points to San Mateo's 130. Both, yeah. both you guys did a great job. Stay right here. We have two sharp experts here, and we'll be back in just a moment to watch them work with their teams for the final round. But first, let's watch this video about San Mateo High. Okay, guys. Located 20 miles south of San Francisco, San Mateo High School has established itself as one of the Bay Area's most well-rounded high schools. Home to the Bearcats, San Mateo prides itself on its diverse student body and community involvement. Students continue to excel in their reputable performing arts program. CCS caliber athletic teams. Leisurely and competitive musical organizations. For the past several years, the 1,400 students have united to participate in what has become the most successful canned food drive in the world, as stated in the Guinness Book of World Records. The annual drive, in collaboration with the Samaritan House, lasts two weeks in December and provides food for over 8,000 needy families in San Mateo County. This winter, the students exceeded last year's total and collected over 270,000 pounds of food. The canned food drive is only one example of the school spirit and continued community interaction actively fostered in the great San Mateo High School family, an institution serving as a reflection of aspiring youth in America. Okay, these guys want to go dance at their morph, so let's hurry up and play the lightning round. <laughs> 
that, you're still a little bit behind Aragon, but you can catch up because now the point values are double. Put your hands on your buzzers, gentlemen. I'm going to ask a series of 20 point questions. The first person to buzz in gets the first chance to answer for their team. If you get the answer right, you score. If you don't, the team that didn't start in, I'm having trouble with that, these instructions. The other team gets a chance to collaborate and their captain can give me an answer. Other team, if I haven't finished the question the first time around, let me finish the question before you ponder and answer, okay? Good luck to both teams. We'll play till we're done. First question, this example of early Homo erectus is named for an Indonesian island where a fossil of its type was discovered. Yes, Justin. Java. Java man is right. Next question, Shell Oil has been criticized for allowing this country to mistreat the Ogoni tribe. Name this African country, oh, I'm sorry. Shell Oil has been criticized for allowing this country to mistreat the Ogoni tribe. Name this African country whose capital is now located at Abuja. Abuja? Justin? Zimbabwe? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Collaborate and see if you can steal the points, Aragon. How do you spell the capital? O, -G I'm sorry, uh, A-B-U-J-A. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I apologize to the builders of the capital. All of it? Uh, Tunisia. No, it's Nigeria. Next question. What is the distance between the points 2, 2, and 8, 10? Yes, Alex. 10. 10 is correct for 20 points. What are the laws called that protect music from being reproduced? Yes, Justin. Copyright. That is right, copyright laws. <laughs> there were many musical geniuses of the 18th century. Where was most of their music performed? Yes, Vlad. Uh, Austria. No, I'm sorry. There were many musical geniuses of the 18th century. Where was most of their music performed? San Mateo? Concert houses? No, at court before a king or queen. What southern presidential candidate was paralyzed by an assassin during the 1970s? Yes, uh, Vlad. George Wallace. That's right, for 20 points. <laughs> Separated from the mainland by the Mozambique Channel, what African island? Madagascar. Yes, Madagascar is correct, Justin. Okay, here I go. If you are given a function, F, x equals 5 sine x. f of x equals 5 times the sine of x. What is the amplitude of this function? Yes, Bobby. Um, 5. That's right, for 20 points. <laughs> what is the name of the Palestinian protest against the Israel? Yes, Justin. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Yahid, or the... Uh, I'm sorry. sorry, that's incorrect. Let me finish the question, Aragon. What is the name of the Palestinian protest against the Israelis? Jihad? No, it's the Intifada. His name was Denmark Vesey, but he led a slave insurrection in what slave-holding state? Yes, Justin. South Carolina? No, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Can you tell us and steal the points, Aragon? Virginia? Virginia's right, Oliver. 20 points. What law of physics states that the induced electric current flows in opposition to the charge which induced it? Magnetic law? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can collaborate and steal. Faraday effect. Faraday effect. Faraday effect. Faraday's law? No, we're looking for Lenz's law. Next question. Physically, it is connected to Lake Huron, but what great lake is bordered by Wisconsin, Indiana, and yes, Bobby? Um, Michigan. That's right, Lake Michigan. <laughs> He led his team to five NFL championships and two Super Bowl titles. Name this Green Bay Packer quarterback of, yes, Bobby. Um, Bart Starr. That's right, for 20 points. <laughs> the Wailing Wall is the remnant of what structure? Yes, this Justin. Temple of Solomon. Can I? I can accept that. The Temple of Solomon or the Temple of Jerusalem. When you 2 sang April 4, a shot rings out in the Memphis sky, to whose assassination were they returned? Yes, Vlad. Uh, Martin Luther King. That is correct for 20 points. 
Some 1960s science fiction movies featured an atomic war which destroyed almost everyone but left buildings intact. Theoretically, what sort of bomb... Yes, Bobby? Um, atomic. No, I'm sorry. Let me finish that. What sort of bomb would have done this? A neutron bomb? That's right. 20 points. <laughs> this major mountain range stretches from the Northwest Territories down to New Mexico. What is it called? Yes, Derek? The Cascades. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. This major mountain range stretches from the Northwest Territories down to New Mexico. The Rockies. The Rockies is correct. Here we go. Next question. The disappearance of spymaster Vladimiro Montesinos led to the resignation of this former president of Peru. What was his name? Yes, Derek. Uh, Alberto Fujimori. That is right for 20 points. We have one minute left to play. What major type of architecture makes the extensive use of flying buttresses? Yes, Justin. Gothic. Gothic's right for 20 points. In physics, what is the ratio of magnetic flux to current called? Justin. Uh, what? Or no, uh, wavelength? No, I'm sorry. It's incorrect. What is the ratio of magnetic flux to current called, Aragon? We don't know. It's called inductance. Which European power was defeated in its 1896 bid to conquer Abyssinia, but was more successful in 1936? Yes, Derek. Germany? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Italy? Italy's right for 20 points. Which of these painters is not an impressionist? Remington, Degas, Monet, or Renoir? Remington. Yes, Vlad, it's Remington for 20 points. Stop it, Justin. Aragon has 260 points, but with 310, San Mateo takes the game. Whoa, gentlemen, excellently played all around. Now, we have a wild card match coming up, so you may come back. You did a wonderful job, gentlemen. Thank you so much. And you guys played excellently. We will definitely see you back in a future round for the chance at a nine-day trip to London. All expenses paid, courtesy of our friends at ACIS. Thank you to the San Francisco Chronicle for writing all our sports and current events questions. And I want to say, come on back and watch us again. So bye-bye till then. Our special thanks to the Chronicle staff for developing the questions for sports at Gert Events. This year's champions will be winging their way to London for an all-expenses-paid nine-day adventure to some of the world's most historic sites, courtesy of ACIS. The producers of Peninsula Quiz Kids wish to thank the following. The Chronicle, Pacific Bell, Molly Stones, Target, Jamba Juice, Century Theaters, Silver Terrace Nursery, AEIS Ronald Bland, Sam Trans, and the San Mateo County Office of Education. <laughs>